Hey, what's up everybody? This is the Line Fire Update from beautiful Big Bear Lake, California, and it is a spectacular day today. So what we got going on is, uh, this is an update from San Bernardino National Forest. The fire remains at 43,965 acres and 79% contained. So guys, it's been at 79% for about three days now. Today at one, there will be a public meeting at the Big Bear Performing Arts Center. The agenda includes line fire updates, burned area emergency stabilization efforts, and updates from Caltrans. So let's see, the current situation is crews continue to hold the line fire close to its current footprint with minimal growth since yesterday. Around the fire perimeter where it's been contained, crews monitored and controlled the lines with no issues or challenges. Where the fire line is still active, crews worked hard to improve and hold the lines, again with no issues or challenges. In the northeast corner of the fire, saw uh, crews focused on removing hazardous trees which allowed safer access for firefighters, allowing them to mop up the deeper into the fire area. Yesterday, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department lifted the remaining evacuation warnings for the city of Big Bear Lake and downgraded the Angeles Oaks to evacuation warning status. Highway 38 is now open to Angeles Oaks from the west, but it remains closed due to firefighter operations beyond Angeles Oaks to Lake Williams Drive, five miles east of Big Bear Lake. The Seven Oaks area remains under an evacuation warning. Today, most crews will continue patrolling, monitoring, and strengthening lines. Additional crews will transition to repairing areas impacted by suppression activities. Conditions remain very dry and all crews will remain vigilant for any new or increased fire activity. The closure orders for San Bernardino National Forest remain in place. So that's all the information that we've got right now. That's, uh, that's what's happening. So even though the containment number hasn't gone up, it seems like they're they're really doing a fantastic job um, basically trying to control this bad boy and where I'm pointing right now that is where the fire would be just on the other side of that hill right there and it's just such a beautiful day today just an absolutely beautiful day today but yeah this is what we got going on I thought we might take another look again we're not seeing much smoke i can kind of see a little bit right there but uh yeah as always i just need to really say thank you to the firefighters and everyone involved in this in this effort you guys are you guys are amazing you guys are amazing we have people out here in their kayaks we got people out here fishing uh just to, you know it wouldn't be like that if uh if you guys didn't kick butt at what you're doing so thank you again for your for your huge major efforts and uh, go get them you guys. We're all proud of you. We're all very proud of you. All right. Yeah, it's just wonderful what they're doing you guys. I mean, once again, this is such a beautiful place and it needs to be protected. And it's so nice that we have so many people who are willing to sacrifice everything. I know a lot of them will be so humble and say, well, it's, it's my job, I get paid for it. But I mean, come on. Way too humble. So we're gonna go over to another one of my favorite spots to take a look at our mountains from inside our, our town here. But yeah, this side, you guys, this is the, uh, it's like a wildlife refuge area. And when I first moved up here almost 10 years ago, uh, this area didn't have any water in it. It was completely dry, barren, there was nothing. But I mean guys, look at how just beautiful the sky is. This is such a spectacular place to be. I don't know if, 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 if any of you regularly look, look at the Watch Duty app, but my gosh, if you look at like Idaho and Minnesota, there's more fires than I can even count. Like it's it's unbelievable how many fires actually occur this time of year all over the West. It's amazing. But yeah, once again, fantastic news. We're not seeing any any real smoke over here. Oh, I can see it right now. I can see a good plume. Right as I said that. I don't know if you can see it. Nice little thick plume of smoke. 
very narrow. It looks like a fireplace. And rays of sunshine shining down. Wow. All right, guys. Well, let's get back in this Subaru Outback Touring XT. And let's go to the other spot. And then I'll get this uploaded for y'all. Thanks again for all the support. I'm doing the best I can for you guys. I know it's... Uh, these videos have become really lackluster, which is fantastic news. And let's uh, let's keep it that way. I don't want to have any more negative updates. I think these are all positive. As I said, we're still at 79%, but uh, in terms of what they're doing and the progress they're making, since I've learned from you know Division Chief Bob and other folks like that what the containment actually means. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super positive about this and, uh, yeah, let's go get them. Let's go get them, you guys. Okay. Also, when it comes to our weather, you guys, right now we're at 82 degrees. We don't really have, uh, anything in the forecast, unfortunately. But yeah, we're at 82 degrees. how close that other spot is that I'm, I like to go and it's especially a great spot for the thunderstorm activity I like to go there because you can see a 360 de 360 degree view of everything um, just, just wanted you guys to see how close it is so if you're up here you could follow this track and uh, go over towards this beautiful view once you turn right on Big Bear Boulevard from Stanfield Cutoff, which is where we've been doing a lot of the videos, you'll make your first right here. I don't know what this what this street name is. Oh wait, there. Let's see, Sandalwood. So you turn right on Sandalwood, and uh, look at these beautiful colors right here. Wow. 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 The colors are coming as soon as it gets really deep in terms of our fall colors. I'll, I'll be doing a fall colors video, driving around town, showing you guys some cool spots with beautiful colors. Okay, so this is my other spot. Again, it's a really spectacular view. A little bit closer towards where the smoke would be. Ah, look at those colors. Would you look at it? Oh, would you look at it? Ed Bassmaster, that guy's hilarious. Um, okay, so right there where I'm pointing, that is right where the fire is, just on the other side of that hill right there. And there is our beautiful money maker, Snow Summit. So important that our resorts don't ever get affected by stuff like this or else our town would not survive there's 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 no other way our town survives other than our ski resorts and our ski resorts actually take care of most of the year um, and allows for all the summer activities to go on and yeah it's just just a beautiful thing I hope a lot of you get a chance to come up and go skiing and enjoy this area we need you all up here I mean, look at this. This is so gorgeous. Who wouldn't want to come up here? Look at that. And right here, for any of you who are looking for some land, get 25 acres right here, right on the lake. There you go. Well, guys, that's going to be our short little update for today. Thanks again for all the support. Thank you guys for believing in what I'm trying to do. Um, I am doing the best that I can. I'm sure there's a lot of other people that could do a lot better job. I'm just doing the best that I can for y'all. And uh, I hope the information is, is pertinent and, uh, and is good for you. Once again, I'm getting all of my 
my info from uh, from from the authorities, from like sheriffs and uh, fire authorities and whatnot, and I'm reading it to you exactly as they are disseminating it. So have a wonderful rest of your day. It's a beautiful Friday, the 5th of October, and make sure you have a fantastic weekend, you guys. Go out there, enjoy life, have a great time. Life's too short. Life is too short to, to not enjoy it. I will talk to you guys later. Um, we'll see you about tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna do an update tomorrow. I know a lot of you want me to do the daily updates and I really appreciate that. So we'll see, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I just feel like these might be getting boring for some people, but it is nice to kind of follow along every day and read the progress and see what's going on. So take care y'all until next time, big bear weather and more out hit like, and subscribe, help me, help me grow. I've been doing this for 10 years and I, I work hard at this might not seem like it, but I do. <laughs> I really do take care y'all. Bye.